today's topic is all about insulation resistance testing for our rotor part of our generator first step F30 disconnect same with the procedure and previous topic to isolate this measuring protection or control circuits this is the fuse that we need to remove generator is Hyundai 3 phase synchronous generator brushless exciter voltage 95 volts DC as you can see in the name plate 95 volts DC in this form they recommend a process take up to one minute for insulation resistance testing measuring setting voltage about 500 volts DC this is the required setting in this form we need to fill up this during dry dock or maintenance for PMS schedule which is stator winding insulation testing and then rotor testing for IR the important things to remember IR testing for exciter unit is optional yes this is optional it's because this is low voltage and not mandatory but if it is in dry dock the alternator is overhauled they probably advise to carry out IR test and all you need is to short the five points that I will show you in this video the diode baristor and exciter unit must be short shorted or jumpered with a alligator clip to avoid damage of semiconductor we need to open this cover for alternator where we can see the exciter rotor and then we can access properly this cover and then other side After removing the filter cover, the parts that you can see here is baristor, rotating diode, baristor. Then at the right side, exciter stator, and then rotor. At the left side, main winding stator, and then the main winding rotor. Next, at the other side, We need to check the at the top baristor rotating diode at the center and the below rotating diode at the right side main stator winding and main rotor winding at the left side exciter stator and exciter rotor we need to check the diagram and I explain the diagram so that we understand properly this is the rotor part labeled main winding G1 that is the stator main winding G1 connected with baristor then that is the rotating rectifier one two three three sets of rotating rectifier and then this is G2 is exciter Baristor in the schematic is only one, but in actual there is a two pieces. G2 is exciter, G1 is the main rotor winding. This is the baristor, the terminal is going to G1, and then other terminal is to going to G1. That is the first baristor. This is the set of the baristor. Then number two baristor. In the actual, there is two baristor, but in the schematic, is only one. But all connection is same. The rotating rectifier, the end of the 
first rotating rectifier is going to the exciter next to the exciter and then the third one is going to the next exciter this is the set of rotating rectifier we have one two three rotating rectifier this is the points one two three four five this is the important points that we need to short or jumper before we do IR testing I have here the five points alligator clip two black and three red with label one two three four five the two blocks are for the main re rotor winding and then the three color red alligator clip is for the exciter winding and also the important is we have a insulation tester this alligator clip is only DIY first thing I will show you the Baristor the logo of Baristor there is a label 3 and 4 we need to zoom in first 3 and 4 that is the Baristor and then the 4 terminal is going to the rotor main winding number 4 terminal is going to rotor main winding next we have 3 rectifier we need this is the logo of the rectifier and it has a terminal 3 2 1 okay I already connect the 5 terminals first the number 1 going to the main rotor winding then next number two is going to rotor winding then number three is going to the rotor exciter number four going to the next rotor exciter winding last but not the least number five is terminal and then the connector going to the exciter after all terminals are connected one two three four five and then we need to use a insulation tester we need to set uh, 500 500 volts as per manual we also have a video flow insulation tester browse our playlist first thing ground connect to ground and then test select the 500 and then test press test button almost 0 0.005 select one of those terminals and then press test button for your IR tester 2247 or 2250 mega ohms that is our reading by the way, the range of our IR tester is 400 mega ohms. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell for more updates. Follow us on Facebook, Barco TV. That's all. Bye bye.